the weapons. Collective Edge. Welcome to the Weapons Collective Edge. Today I'm going to shoot this uh, Ben Pearson bow. This is a 45 pounder. I'm going to shoot it with a Dacron string and I'm going to shoot it with a paracord string. I'm going to shoot it through the conograph here, so you can see there, and that we're going to find out if I can get different speed from a Dacron versus a paracord. And we'll see the difference. So the first set is going to be with the Dacron. So I got my chronograph on and I'm going to shoot a couple shots with the Dacron string. One sixty one. One sixty one. One fifty six. Four shots. One sixty-two. So that was the Dacron string, and I'm going to switch it over to the paracord, and we'll see what those numbers are. So I've got my paracord on, and I will put up a picture of the length of the string. Both string lengths are the same. Both brace height brace heights are the same. So I'm trying to compare apples to apples so it's the same shot using the same exact arrow every shot and uh, but we'll go with the paracord and we'll get some numbers on that okay here's the paracord one sixty four Sixty-three, sixty-three, sixty-two. quite surprised that these two strings basically shot identical to each other. They're just a little bit of difference between the two, but other than that, they shot exactly the same feet per second. So, after testing the Dacron versus the Paracord, I got virtually the exact same numbers. So if you do need a quick, fast string, I would recommend you just make a Paracord string and I will show you how I do it. Paracord was obviously the same amount of velocity off the bow. Same bow, same length of string. Basically I just loop it over, tie it, slip it through, and it's double knotted basically. I'll show you right there. I just do that on both ends. And then I trim it up. This one I'm going to maybe lengthen it just a little bit more but uh, yeah I'll trim this one right up to the edge I haven't had these knots slip on me and brace heights stayed the same so testing a 45 pound bow with two different strings I got pretty much the same on the conograph and uh, I would say these are just as good as a regular string if you are shooting just in the backyard but if you like this video please subscribe and I will put up more content catch you later